Your question entails a lot of inquiries, not only one. The first is pertaining the pain and the suffering during the surgery and after the surgery and whether this is a means of punishment for sins or a particular sin, then the person should look for what kind of sin that he or she is doing in order to relieve uh, that pain. Every affliction that happens to a believer, it is always good for him because if he has committed sins, it remits some of his sins or perhaps all his sins, depending on his endurance with patience and his, his gratitude to the Almighty Allah. <coughs> If not, then it simply raises him into higher ranks in heaven. And the same happened with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in the hadith he said, the condition of the believer is amazing and no one behaves like that but a believer. Allah is always pleased with him. Whenever uh, good happens to him, he is grateful and Allah is pleased with him. Whenever an affliction befalls him, he is patient and that too is good for him and Allah is happy with him. So every person can decide on his or her own or their own whether I'm blameworthy, I've done something bad and I believe this is some sort of kafara, alhamdulillah, or the person is very pious but still being tested. We all know that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most righteous at all. And he was tested more than anyone else. Because he said, Ashaddu nasi bala'an al-anbiya. The most severely tested people are the prophets. 